Hi there, I'm Jaylen West, and today I wanted to talk to you about how to build a strong network. You know, networking is one of those buzzwords in business. Um, it's about making connections and making business deals, uh, but there is really an art to it, and I wanted to talk to you about that for a bit. So there's different groups that you can join. It can be almost overwhelming at first. One of the main groups that I would suggest that you start is your local chamber of commerce. You are going to meet some great people. You're going to meet people who um, who are also well connected and they um, and they understand the art of networking. Uh, there's different groups that you can join in there. There's different committees that you can serve on. There's different ways to volunteer. Uh, there's there's uh, ways that you know that you can improve yourself uh, from the courses that they offer. So that is one of the number one places where you can start. Now there's also lead generating networking groups. Those are wonderful too, um, and there's you know there's so many of them out there. I mean, I remember when the when the concept came out in probably the mid '90s. Yes, I'm dating myself, but what can I say? Um, and there were not that many elite generating networking groups. Usually, uh, there's only one in each industry in the group, and it's um, it's a closer knit group. Uh, you get to stand up for 30 seconds to a minute and say who you are and what you do. Those are great groups too. Um, and then another way that you can do that, if, if that's just not your thing, you can also do this by joining um, groups which just you have an interest in. Um, it could be sports related, uh, say like golfing. There's a lot of business done on the golf course as probably most of you know. Um, there are, um, let's see, Rotary, which, um, with Rotary, you're giving back, uh, so don't go in there just expecting to get business from it. That's like going to church and just expecting to get business from that. Um, shouldn't be the main reason you're there at all. Uh, you're there to, uh, to benefit and to help, uh, but there's charity work. You can join, um, you can join, um, and volunteer for a charity organization that's near and dear to your heart. Uh, and one way that you can do that is you can become a board of director. Now, there's a lot of responsibility with that, and I've served on several different boards, um, and I've benefited from every single one of them. Uh, but I took my, I, I took the commitment very seriously, and you need to do that because it's about giving, not about taking. And that's actually the key to any networking success is that you need to be a giver and not just a taker. You need to be the one that gives first. You need to be the one that um, that's there giving the referrals and creating um, connections between people. Be the go-to person. Um, and you also should, here's what I recommend too, somewhere in there you're going to have to decide whether or not this is a good group for you. Um, you know, a few years ago, I was, uh, I was, I was driving around and I, and I parked and I went into a store and when I came back out again, I was looking for my car and you know, I would like to, to tell you and brag that I am the greatest driver out there, but I am not. And my parking skills are not exactly what they should be. So I get out to the expedition and I'm freaking out because the bumper is gone off our expedition. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to tell Lance? How am I going to explain this one? I don't even remember the darn thing falling off. So I get over there to the expedition, and, um, and I look inside, and thank goodness, it wasn't our expedition. It was one that looked exactly the same, except that the, bu the front bumper was missing. So, whew, thank goodness for that. But the example I'm trying to give you in this is that you have to recognize your ride. So there are some wonderful groups out there that just for whatever reason, they may not be a good fit. They, uh, you just don't seem to gain any business from it. Or, uh, I mean, you know, they're really nice people, um, but you only have so much time in a day. You only have so much time to give. You have so, you know, there are so many other things that you need to do in your business. And, um, and so, you know, you can't just spin your wheels networking going from one group to another group to another group. You have to, in time, evaluate and see, this group I seem to really fit in and benefit, and, um, and it's a good group for me. It's worth my time. This other group, maybe not so much. Um, and, you know, you have to make a business decision about that. 
It's not personal. It is just a business decision because we only have so much time in the day. Um, and we have, and you know, an important thing is we need to keep our life in balance. It's easy to just network all the time or uh, to just do, to always work and to never feel that balance. But we need to have a life outside of our work. I'm going to say that one more time. We need to have a life outside of our work. We need to love what we do and be passionate about it. And yet we need to know when it's time to say, okay, it's time to stop. And it's time to just get out there and, and be with my friends or have some chill time. Um, and you've got to find that balance because it's very important. Now, another important aspect of networking is, so there you walk in this room. There's, you know, 25, 50, 100 people in the room. How are you going to be the person who's remembered? Well, now there's several different ways you can do this. You can, the obvious one is to dress really flashy. Or to stand on a chair and say, hey, it's all about me. Okay, that is one way to do it. Um, and if that works for you, baby, do it. But there are some other ways to do this too. And when I, to me, um, it's, it's quite easy to just be friendly, be outgoing. Don't just wait for someone to come up and, and say hello to you. Walk up to someone and introduce yourself. You know, that's, it's actually so easy. You can walk up to... Walk up to someone who's standing there and, and it's obvious that they don't even know where to start in this and just go up and help that person out and introduce yourself and get to know about them. Don't do all the talking. Do more listening than you do talking. That's so important and so many people forget about that. But uh, everyone wants to be remembered. Everyone wants to be heard. So be that person who listens who is grateful, who is thankful. Um, don't forget to say thank you when someone gives you a referral, even if the darn thing didn't work out, uh, because they were thinking about you. And when you give a referral, follow up with it. See if it worked out, see how it worked out, and, and get that feedback. Make sure that this was actually a good fit, and if not, then hone your skills with it. And I know sometimes it seems intimidating to go in a room full of strangers, but you know what? 99% um, of them are going to be very nice and friendly people, outgoing, and they're, and they're going to want to help you. So just get to know them. Take the time to get to know them. And then when you stand up and you say who you are and what you do, don't just do something by memory that you could do in your sleep over and over and over again. Because you know what? When you stand up and you do it that way, um, people tune you out. And that's when they start looking at their phone and saying, okay, you know, let's see who else is out there because I already know what they're going to say and I already know what they're going to do because they've been quite predictable. So just get out there and enjoy it. Be the person who makes a contribution. That's what my dad used to say to me, Jaylen, make a contribution. Well, guess what, Dad? I am because I love it. And um, I like being the go-to person that helps other people and connects them. It's fun to be the connector in the room. So have fun. Enjoy it. And... Um, another thing that I'll caution you on is um, don't judge a book by its cover. It's so easy to do that. It's so easy to overestimate or underestimate a person based on their looks or by their dialect or by the way they talk. You never know. You just never know. So be open-minded and get to know people and uh, find out if there's a connection and if you can help each other. And just enjoy it. Enjoy life and, and enjoy getting out there and meeting people and helping them and, and build your business. Be reliable, have integrity, and, um, and you also need to learn how to say no because you can't do everything for everyone. You have to have that in balance. So that's pretty much it for today. Uh, good luck with your networking. Oh, one other thing. Don't forget to bring your business cards. Um, you know, it's so frustrating when I meet someone at a networking group and they're all excited and, and, and then they don't have any networking cards. And, you know, it can happen to us on occasion. But um, it should be something where you not only have it in one place, you always have that backup one maybe in your wallet just in case. Uh, so that way people can remember you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if this hit home, please let me know. I love to hear from you. Share this with your friends. Give me your input. 
You can find me on Facebook under a Life in Our Community. You can follow me on Facebook with Jaylen West with a capital L. Or I also have a page called The Organic Lifestyle. Um, you can find me on LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube under Life in Our Community. Um, I have a blog called Jaylen's Groovy Blog. Um, you can find me on Pinterest. And I also have a website. Uh, it's my photography website. And it's jaylenwest.com. So have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Stay motivated and get out there and network, people.